is KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. And standing by to join me is Camilla Alves McConaughey. We're going to talk about her new book, Just Try One Bite. And she's co authored it with Adam Mansbach. And it's illustrated by Mike Bolt. I have my copy right here. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you so much. Congratulations. How does it feel to have this book out in the world? You know, um, it's one of those things that, you know, if, if, if somebody told me 10 years ago that I'll, you know, be having a kid's book with my name on, I'm like, what? No, that's no, uh, you know? <laughs> um, so it's really cool, actually. You know, the first time I saw on the shelves, I was like, this is cool. And, uh, um, and I'm really proud of the work that me, Adam and Mike did in the books. So I think that really, I'm just happy with it. Yeah. And it's a great spin. I love how you spun it. So it's the parents that are, that are the picky eaters. Cause we're always like, Oh, come on, just try the broccoli or whatever it is. Yes. You know, look, we wanted to, this to be funny. We want it to be fun. We wanted to, you know, not be preachy about, you know, what to do. Yeah. So giving doing a reverse role role where the kids had all the power the kids knew best the kids are getting after their parents um you know to just try one bite um it's just um it's just funny and it's fun and it gave that freedom on writing as well to say you know all kinds of things that you know wouldn't come up of a, an adult's mouth or an animal's mouth right exactly kind of, and it's, and it's a real family, it's real life. You really, the animation really brings the word to life where you feel like you're, you're there with yes. the characters, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah, and, and look, I'm not here to, to tell parents what to feed their kids or how mm -hmm. to feed their kids, you know? But I am here to give a reminder, you know, that the conversation, uh, it, it, you know, about the relationship with food and what's good, what's not, and why it's not good, why it is good. Where does it come from? How does it work with our body? Sure. It's an extremely important conversation. And the, I'm a big believer that the earlier you start that conversation, most likely you're going to be setting your kids up for a lifelong of good habits. And the reality is we're going to have a relationship with food for the rest of our lives, right? Right. That's right. So why not be joyful and fun and have a balance, right? Yes. yes. Um, so that's, the, you know, and what a great way to, to start a conversation or continue that conversation with a book that it's fun, like just Definitely. right on my So have your kids read the book? Oh, yes. They've been part of this whole process since the beginning, since day one. They... Also, uh, they actually, two of my kids and then one of Adam's kid did, uh, then they write the audio book. Oh, good. So, That's yeah. great. Yeah. It's really sweet. I love how, uh, you know, in this book, this looks like Matthew, obviously intentional. Right? It, you know, it was, it's so <laughs> not intentional. I never really? asked for it. I never talked about it. I didn't even catch it into that had a similarity until um, two friends brought it up. And I was like, ah, guys, and, and we both looked at it at the same time when it first came to us and none of, the, none of us like saw that. Um, I got to get after my bolt on this and kind of, <laughs> I think he got crafty in there, but that was never a conversation or a thing. And truly genuinely like after it was like done, and, you know, that we were able to then share with people because before it was yes. just, you know, gotta keep it private. Then people started telling us, I'm like, I, I don't see it. Do you see it? No. And he was like, no, no. And, and then after a few times, we're like, maybe the chin, like, you know, we're like, I gotta get on that one. There were a couple of um, sections in the book and I thought that does look like him, you know? And I thought it was perfect. No, uh, that's me. That's me. Well, that was not the intention, at least for my end. Yeah. So uh, I have a question. Were you, were, were you and Matthew kind of struggling with getting your kids to eat? Like, how did this come about that you wanted to write this book? Look, the, the mission that I, you know, that I shared with you early on was really, you know, the, the inspiration of the book. But I mm -hmm. think that every parent at some point goes through, a, you know, some kind of a situation around food with yes. their kids. Obviously, you know, some parents get really lucky that it's easier and others get harder for yes. whatever, you know, reason. But 
um, I think that every parent has, you know, majority, I shouldn't say every, but majority yeah. of parents have the situations where they have to work it out. And then if you have multiple kids, you know that kids will go to different stages at different times. And, mm-hmm. you know, right when I feel like, okay, I did it, it's done, they got it. And then another one like comes around being picky about something. Else. Exactly. Like, oh, be over already yeah you know but my 13 year old um he's pretty passive any of the stuff and it was funny because at a dinner table not long ago my daughter is 12 now and she was never picky and then now she's going through a little bit of a picky stage and you know and she said at the dinner table well you know I've, I've I'm, you know, I'm always being like this. And my older son pop in, you know, and he goes, no, you haven't. And he goes, well, it's okay. But it's like, but it's okay. I went to my stage two. It'll pass me. It was going to be oh, okay. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did you get over your dislike for mushrooms? So look, you couldn't pay me enough money to eat mushroom, m- mushrooms. I was always like, I don't understand how people eat mushrooms. I don't, I don't get it. This whole mm-hmm. thing. And then I had a meal that was cooked by Kristen Kish, this, the chef. She's amazing. And I mean, I fell in love with this dish. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And I asked her, she was like, oh, is this, you know, vegetarian bolognese? And I'm like, well, yeah, but what's in it? She goes, oh, it's all mushrooms. And I'm like, what? Mushrooms. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you know, she's like, I'm like, I don't like mushrooms. She goes, well, you just did. You just ate the whole thing. So she actually shared the recipe with us on Women of Today uh, website. So the recipe is there for that. And ever since that experience, I now like I'm a little, you know, I'm more open, open. to yeah. doing terms and, and trying it out. And uh, I've kind of, you know, had that light bulb moment of like, oh, it's not. And I use it with my daughter because she was like, I can't stand spinach. I don't want spinach, whatever. And mm-hmm. I've tried different ways. And then she finally had a way that she liked it. And I was yeah. like, oh, you see, baby, it was just like me with mushrooms. It's not yes. that you don't like spinach. It's just the fact that you hadn't had spinach cooked the way that you love. Yes. Now you do. Now, like, let's keep working on whatever the next thing is, right? Definitely. I remember when um, my kids were little, I they wanted to have like a little dinner party with their friends. So I said, well, I'll make homemade pesto. And I would take spinach, broccoli and zucchini and I'd puree it and add Parmesan and pine nuts. And one girl said, oh, I won't eat that stuff. And they said, it's delicious green sauce. And they all loved it. And then I told them what was in it and they couldn't believe it. They were hard. That sounds really good, actually. It was really, it <laughs> was really good. It it was so you good. might need to share that recipe with us on Women of Today, please. I would love to. I would it love sounds, to. It sounds really good. And think about but, what you're getting in your kids to eat. Exactly. But you know, the thing is too, like, I think it's important to share that on, on this book. We're not, we're not preaching people being perfect people, right. you know, it's so we, we say it in the book. It's okay to have your ice cream and your dessert mm-hmm. and, you, you know, your, yeah. your dog bowls. It's fine. But it's, you know, just not every day, just more yeah. now and then, right? Right. Balance. Yes. Balance. Yes. Anything else you'd like people to know about the book? Oh, look, I think that, you know, food conversations for parents and kids, a lot of times they're not fun. Mm-hmm. I think that this book is very fun and joyful and it's a different twist than you usually hear about eating and food. Mm-hmm. So I think that people would just open their, you know, open their minds to try it and have this experience. Um, I think you'll pay off. I think you'll just be, you know, again, it's a really good um, either starting point or a way to continue the conversation around food. It should be joyful. It should be fun. Yes. Um, And that's what we're trying to do with the book. And one last thing, you mentioned women of today. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so Women of Today, it's a um, online community, majority of women, we have men too, but majority of women, with the basis that we're all trying to do better for ourselves, better for our families, better for our communities. Um, and we, it's all about learning from each other. So it's not about me, Camilla, telling you, you should do this, you should do that. It's more about me saying, hey, I learned this. Yes. I'm sharing 
you, what have you learned? Just like I say, hey, can you share that recipe with us? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's an exchange of, of knowledge. And um, we do all kinds of things. Uh, we do a lot of food. The community asks for a lot of food because they're really trying to do better for themselves with food. So all the recipes are better for you or affordable, yeah. easy to make. Uh, we do beauty, we do hacks, we do health, we do exercises, we do a little bit of everything. Sounds good. Yeah, so we do charity work. So we do we do a little bit of everything in there. So I, you know, highly recommend that anybody that wants to be part of it, sign up for the newsletter because that's where we kind of bring the things that we don't talk out in the world too much. Okay, <laughs> that sounds great. And I, I do love the messages in this book because you're not trying to be preachy. You're, it's more that if you eat well, you feel better you know, mentally, physically, emotionally. Great message. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you know what? I am going to be this Saturday at the Barnes and Nobles at the Grove. Yes. You know? Two o'clock, I think. Yes. At two o'clock and I'll be okay. signing books. We're going to have some, some prizes, some fun things going on. So if you Hi. are in the area, come check it out. Come, come say hello. Sounds good. I will definitely, and I'll post it on the show blog as well. Perfect. All right. Wonderful talking to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye.